it's no secret that the fishing this year in California is a little different than it has been. There's no salmon season. Rockfish season is a little mixed up. And honestly, halibut's been really good, but uh, I kind of really feel bad for the halibut. I feel like it's not gonna bode well for future halibut years, at least the next few years, I feel like they're gonna be tough. But one thing that's still open is surf fishing. There's no change in surf fishing this year. And before, at the beginning of my channel, I used to do a ton of surf, and even before I started YouTube, I used to do a ton, literally a ton of surf fishing. And uh, you know, I didn't have a kayak back then, no boat. Surf fishing was like the most accessible, easy to do, but also potential to catch some big fish uh, type of fishing in the Bay Area. And really, since I started my channel, I haven't really caught that many big fish in the surf. And I'm talking specifically about striped bass. I haven't caught any, well, I think I've only caught one striped bass over 15 pounds. I, I consider anything over 15 pounds to be a big one. And I've only caught one since I started my channel, I think. It's kind of weird to think that I have so many videos I can't even remember them all. But as far as I can remember, there's only the one, the big one I caught off the rocks. Using like a craft, it destroyed me, but somehow I got extremely lucky and landed that fish. Uh, but that's the only one since I started my channel. And one of my goals for this year is to get another big one. Anything over 15 pounds would be nice, but if I catch you know, a 20 pounder, that would be. Uh, that's the goal and surf fishing is a little different than other types of fishing you know with like rock fishing if you kind of know where the reefs are you kind of have a general idea of where the fish are going to be regardless of the time of year um, like river fishing if you know the rivers really well you know depending on the flows and you know the rain and stuff like that the clarity you kind of have an idea of where those salmon or steelhead are going to be holding um, what else? Halibut fishing. I feel like in the bay, there's always halibut in the bay somewhere. You just gotta find them. Um, but surf fishing is really different. I feel like the the saying that 90% of the fish are in 10% of the water, that really really holds true. It might even be more drastic than that in the surf. And just because I caught fish at a certain spot, you know, last year at this time, doesn't necessarily mean that they're gonna be in the same area. Well, here we are. This is the spot where I caught my last big striper this year at the same time. And so really, in my opinion, the only way to really be efficient and increase your catch rate in the surf is to go often, as often as you can. The more you can go, the more consistently you can go, the more in tune you'll be with where the fish are holding and which way they're migrating, where the bait is, stuff like that. All, all important things for fishing. Um, really, the only way to do it is just to get out there and experience it. And personally, I haven't been out to the beach, at least in this area, in a long time. So today I picked about a 15 mile stretch of coastline. And I'm literally starting at the north end and traveling all the way to the south end and just seeing what I find, seeing what it looks like, looking at the holes, you know, maybe talking to some fishermen if I see them along the beach. Um, just kind of look for signs of life. You know, is there bait in the area? I see some birds diving right here, actually. That's a good sign. But yeah, today I didn't even bring any fishing stuff. I'm just going out here, just scouting. It's a scouting mission. Uh, probably throw up the drone a little bit, see if I can see anything down there. I'm watching some birds diving right here. I got a feeling there's actually some salmon out here somewhere, but unfortunately, like I was saying, there's no salmon season. So anyways, just scouting out the surf seeing what's going on, seeing what the other fishermen are saying, and just trying to find where a big one might be holding. So it's the beginning of June right now. I don't really know when this video is gonna get posted, but at this time that I'm filming, it's the beginning of June. Really, there should be some big fish cycling through this area somewhere. I just gotta find them. <laughs>
All right, mission complete. Did some scouting. I definitely ruled out some places, and then I definitely have some places in mind that I think have some fish in them. But there's no way to really tell until we fish it tomorrow morning. Got some really cool drone footage. The seal or the the whales and the bait bowls out there were epic. Pretty cool to see those whales from the drone's perspective from a bird's eye view. And with the bait balls, the whales out there, I'm sure there's salmon out there. That is unfortunate that we can't catch them this year, but for the better, hopefully they make a little rebound and we'll be back in future seasons. But the focus of this video is striped bass. Mm, tasty. I don't fly the drone as much as I would like because I'm most usually just focusing on fishing but uh, yeah fun little day out here scouting throwing up the drone we'll see you guys in the morning oh hey didn't see you there well you have you here I'd like to thank aura for sponsoring this video unfortunately identity theft and cybercrime has become a bigger bigger problem in the u.s last year alone there's over 10 billion dollars worth of digital crime losses which is more than double the total in 2020. With Aura, you can be assured that you won't become a part of this statistic. Aura's goal is to make an all-in-one intelligent safety solution that's simple to understand and easy to use. Aura offers a wide variety of plans from individual plans to family plans to protect everyone in your household. Among many other benefits, Aura keeps all your passwords secure ensures safe web browsing, and ensures every member on your plan for up to $1 million to cover eligible losses and fees due to identity theft. If you'd like to try them for yourself, start three 14-day trial at no cost to you and get access to the same benefits that paid users have. There are way too many features for me to name all at once, so check the link in the video description for a full list of all the features in each respective plan. Once again, if you'd like to secure your online safety while helping out the channel at the same time, click the link in the description and start the 14 day free trial. There's no cost to you and everyone wins. Thank you again to Aura for sponsoring this video. And now let's get back out on the search for that elusive striper. We made it. New development though, last evening, yesterday evening, I heard of a hot striper bite at a different beach. Not too far from where I was originally gonna go, but we're at a slightly different beach this morning. Sun just rose, it's about 5.30, 5.45, something like that. First light, we've got overcast skies, beautiful conditions for plugging for striper, in my humble opinion. The only thing left to do is get out there and catch one. So you've seen me use this jerkbait many a times, and this is a great jerkbait. I've actually caught the biggest striper on my channel on this exact jerkbait right here, but I'm gonna try something a little bit bigger because I want to just eliminate surf perch. I'm going to go strictly for striped bass. Good bait, but not for today. Today we're using this guy right here. So you can see a little bit bigger profile. And I've actually swapped out the hardware on this one. So these hooks are not stock and these split rings are not stock. They're beefed up to target some big fish. So I'm just going to clip that on there. There we go. That's a Dio SP minnow right there. Caught many striper on this in my youth. But I haven't caught one in a while, so hopefully today bring it back to old times. I just walked by another angler who just caught one literally like five minutes ago. So there's definitely some fish around. I really want to catch a big one. And I feel like there's got to be some big ones around. The one that that guy had was maybe, I don't know, 24 inches or something. That's a good eater fish. Even though I am hunting the big, the big boys. Any striped bass will do at this point. Well, the early first light has now passed. I haven't been able to capitalize. I haven't seen any fish. Well, I did see a couple fish some other people caught, but there's, I think, at least two dozen people here, and I probably saw three fish come up, something like that. So, 
I mean, not great numbers, but there's some fish around. But it's definitely slowed up. When I first got here is when I saw the most fish come up. It seems like I haven't seen any for the last you know, hour or so. So I think I'm gonna head home and I'm gonna come back either this evening, probably this evening. So one thing to keep in mind when you're casting here at night is I always like to check my lure every you know, five minutes or so because sometimes you'll hook a sand crab like that just on the retrieve. And uh, once that sand crab's on there, it's gonna mess up the whole action of lure. So just check it every once in a while, make sure there's no seaweed, make sure the line's still good. It's not hung up on the, on the hook here or anything. But yeah, it's looking at that's the lure I'm gonna start with tonight. I think that's like a, sardine type pattern honestly i think at night the, the color doesn't matter too much it's more just based on sound and profile so anyways we're out here working with a couple of familiar faces we're looking for the fish stay tuned who's gonna catch one first adam me <laughs> what are you even recording for you can't see anything yeah I, if i hook up i'll turn on the light oh i just got bit did you really yeah Got hit right there. First fish, biggest fish, most fish. All right. Let's go. All right. Deal. There we go. There's a fish. Yeah. Little one. Oh. There he goes. Little guy. That's the start. I didn't tell you guys yet, but I did switch to the Lucky Craft here. I thought I'd try something a little bit different. Got a couple of hits actually before that one, so I'm I'm uh, optimistic that this is going to be the ticket for a couple more fish tonight. But first fish, sorry we didn't get to show them. Didn't really get a good view of them for you back at home, but anyway, that was just a little one, maybe 22, 23 inches, something like that. All right, let's get back out there. Oh, there you go. Nice. Nick's on. Nice. There you go. I just, you, I just let one go about the same size. Really? Yeah. Man. Oh, man. That might fair. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that guy fought so good. Nice. Riding close too. And you just let one go. Too? Dude, yeah. Check out. Dude, on the fly. That's a good. That's a good setup. I like on that. On the fly. Good oh, stuff. Yeah. Yeah, look at that tail, big tail. Oh, beautiful. It's All right, it. your turn now, Ish. Yeah, yeah it's a decent bite. So I probably got three or four bites with this Lucky Craft. I don't know why they're not getting hooked. Like usually when a striped bass, oh, there's one, there's one. Come on, come on. They're definitely here. Not huge, but good schooly fish. Oh, nice one. A little smaller than mine. <laughs> About the same. Yeah, I think it is a little smaller than yours. Fish, if you catch one of dry you just... All right, there's our two fish right there. I think that was my first cast after. I got two fish. Two. I got two fish. <laughs> Watch out. This guy got messed up by these hooks. He wasn't going nowhere. Beautiful striper, Adam. Yeah. Yeah, it looks great right now, the way we're doing it. Yeah, it you, if you do it right away, all those fins stand up. Oh, dude, those are perfect. Upgraded hardware, it's really paying off there. Don't mind the blood on the hand, that's from the fish. Sorry we ended a little bit abruptly there. Filming at night is always a challenge. I haven't really mastered that. And if any of you out there have any tips for me, I'm all ears, because it's hard to get a good shot out there. But anyways, not a bad day. I mean, not a total like striper blitz. You know, we got a few, Nick got one, I got a couple. Unfortunately, our third member of our crew, who I don't think you ever saw, 
didn't get one, but there's one waiting for him out there next time. But anyway, just getting my gear ready for the next adventure. Thank you again to Aura for sponsoring the video. Once again, if you want to help the channel out, click the link in the description and start that 14 day free trial. But other than that, we'll see you guys on the next one. Maybe back out on the kayak, maybe not. We'll find out. See you guys there.